Hello everyone, this is Giovanni. Welcome to Grammar Class 101 and today I will share to you the basic idioms in English and this is for our lesson 2. Yes, thank you for dropping by my channel and let's go. So for the continuation from our lesson 1 we have here guys to wait for. To wait for means to expect to await. You wait something. So for example, we have we will wait for you on the corner of Broadway and 86th Street. So we have here we wait for. Okay. Wait for, wait for. This one. Second, we have we waited for, we waited for him more than an hour and finally uh, left so that's it and next number two at last at last uh, meaning finally finally say for example we waited and waited and at last Jan arrived we have here at last finally Jan arrived next is he or has he finished that work at last Okay. Has he finished that work at last? No. Or has he finished that work finally? Oh, that's when. Okay. Next, as usual, meaning as always or customarily. Customarily. So, for example, George is late for class as usual. So, as always, George is late. Next is as usual, Dora won first prize in the swimming contest. As usual. So, as always. Uh, Dora uh, won first prize in the swimming contest. It's an example of idiom. Number four is we have here to find out. To find out, to get information, or to discover, to learn. And note, guys, we have here as this, meaning uh, our idiom here to find out can be separated. This is separable. Yes. So, for example, I was unable to find out. We have here. To find out, we use to find out the name of the man who called. Number two, will you please try to find out? To find out. For me, what time the train arrives? So that is an idiom. This number three is just an example of a separable idiom, meaning our idiom can be separated. So for example, I'll try to find it out. We have it in here. Our object is being inserted. In our idiom. Okay, that's mean our. That's mean our yes, s after s. Number five to look at to direct the eyes toward or to watch. The teacher told us to look at. Yes, one to look at the blackboard and not at our books. To look at to direct the eyes toward. Number two, I like to walk along a country road and look at look at the stars at night so that's an idiom to look at number six to look for to search for or to search meaning as yes, asterisk again our idiom can be separated by adding uh, by putting an object uh, between the, the phrase or the idiom so he has spent an hour looking for the pen which he lost so in here uh, he has spent an hour to look for the to look for the pen. He has spent an hour looking for. We have here looking for again because look is a verb, so we can always uh, attach the ing form the verb looking. Okay, number two. I have lost my gloves. Will you help me look for look for them? Yes, look for them. It's an idiom. Number three. We have look all over all over for you now we have look all over for you this is parable guys because look look and there is something uh, being inserted in here all over all over all over for you okay so that's it guys number seven all right meaning satisfactory or correct so he said it would be all right said it would be all right to wait in his office for him so that's it so we have here all right and number two will it be all right 
we are here all right with you if I pay back that money tomorrow instead of today. So we have here all right and idiom, all right meaning satisfactory. Uh, will be all right or will be correct. Okay, number eight we have right here, right there, and right now. So meaning if it's here or there, it's exactly here or there, and it's right now it's immediately immediately so he said that he would meet uh, he said that he would meet he's right here on this corner who would with him would meet me it's, it's not easy guys he would he would meet me uh, he would meet me right here exactly here on this corner so if Let's do it right now. That means uh, immediately. Immediately. That that's mean. So number nine, little by little. So we have here meaning gradually, by degrees or slowly. So if you study regularly, it's day little by little or gradually. Your your vocabulary of English words will increase. So that's me. Yeah, little by little. Number two, we have his health seems to be improving little by little. So meaning uh, gradual, it's a gradual or slowly improving uh, his health. Okay. Number ten, tired out meaning extremely tired. So our idiom is here is separable, separable. We can insert an object. I have worked very hard today and I'm tired out. I'm tired out. So meaning extremely tired. So he is tired out or he was tired out after his long trip to California. So tired out, extremely tired. So a long walk tired her out. It's our object. So it's separable. Tired her out. We can do that. It's our idiom. Number eleven. To call on, meaning to visit. It's not to call on or the phone. It's to visit. Last night several friends called on us, or last night several friends visited on us. That is uh, to call on. So we have here. Number two, how many salesmen call on Mr. Evans every day? So how many salesmen visited uh, Mr. Evans uh, every day? Let's call on. And last, never mind. This is the common uh, uh, expression or idiom. Never mind meaning do not mind, do not bother or pay attention to it. So never mind, she said. When offered, it's not, no, nothing, it's not included when... He, when never mind she said when offered to open the window for her so never mind don't, don't pay attention so when William wish to return the money which he owes you why did you say never mind wait until next week when you receive your payback it's never mind so do not mind so don't bother so guys thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something from this uh, upload my presentation and if you are new in this channel, please subscribe, like, and share to your friends. So, thank you. And, Mabuhay Mindanao. See you in my next video.